This time on Beard Face, we're going to be taking this and turning it into this. This little thing can be used as a shower curtain hanger, or if you flip it around like that, you can use that as a screw mounting hole, and that turns it into a cup hanger, or you can use it to hang oven mitts, you know, be creative, whatever you want to try. But the point is, it's multi-purpose, and it's made out of something small, it's simple, it's quick, it's easy, and depending on what color you paint it, it's pretty attractive. So, to get started with this, you'll notice here that it is just twisted together. What locks that twist together is how these two are straight beside each other. So to break that lock, you want to grab this, and you can see how this is there, and then it spins around this way on the hook part. You want to flip that away from this bar, so turn it back. So you'll grab this, and then twist that way and down a little bit to deflect it. That is going to break the lock. You can see it's wiggling now. And once it's broken, you can rotate just that piece. It'll be a little bit of resistance and it'll get easier. And that'll actually unhook right out of there. And there's a couple little ideas you can use these little bits for, so don't throw them away. Just kind of add them to the scrap pile. So now you're left with this. So the first thing you want to do is straighten that out a little bit so it's kind of halfway back to normal. Now what I'm going to do is use a pair of needle nose pliers. I wouldn't recommend the long handles, it's just what I have. And you're going to use that to bend a radius on the end of this. So you want to clamp that and then spin it. It takes a bit of strength. It's not too terrible, but and you could always use two pairs of pliers to do this if you didn't have the hand strength to do it. So but you spin that back in on itself. You're left with that. Now you can tighten that up so it's touching here by just sticking it in the pliers on the flat and give it a little squeeze. You can do the same in the other direction just to make sure it's nice and straight. And there you go. It's a nice tight little bend. It's got a nice curve to it. Not much we can do about the flat part. It'd be nice if it was rounded right in, but it is what it is. Okay. Now what we want to do is in this radius we want to bend that up and make a U. So we'll start off and just kind of do it gently because you don't want the curve too tight. You want it to have a nice kind of uniform ergonomic bend to it. I'm going to kind of grab in the hook there and try to squeeze it in. See it's spun around there now. Next, I'm going to take this and bend the hook around. It's a lot easier to bend the large hook around than to try to mess with this. That is a pain. So just twist the top part. Now, to get the nice rounded piece of the top part, we'll do the same thing we did for this one. Just grab it with the pliers. And then spin. It's not wanting to cooperate, so I'll grab it a little further in so it's a little tighter. You can see the pliers are deflecting to pain. There we go, starting to get it. Sorry if I keep going off camera there, I'm not too used to filming what I'm doing and I'm trying to look through the camera to do it. There we go. 
Now, we don't have much of a hook left, so what we'll do is just bend that by hand. You could use something round to do it, like a piece of pipe or bar, or, you know, anything you can think of, a chair leg, so it's nice and uniform. All right, all right, so now we've got this, we've got that. So we need to spin this to the side. And that's pretty easily done with the pliers. And now that that's been around, you have the completed part. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.